Hi, uh, hello. <coughs> Today we'll see about uh, uh, yeah uh, the uh, concluding remarks of a uh, three-phase induction motor. Uh, yeah, what is uh, the concluding remarks? Or what I wanted to press in this uh, video lecture is about uh, uh, what is the effect of Lenz law in uh, three-phase induction motor? Or uh, uh, the question may be even like this. Even the 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 uh, point may be even like this. Uh, yeah, um, uh, as we have seen the working principle earlier. The current is induced in the rotor conductors through the process of induction and thereby the uh, rotor rotates. Now the question is in which direction the rotor rotates? In which direction the rotor rotates? So the answer is uh, uh, it is in the direction of uh, the synchronous speed. It is in the direction of the synchronous speed. I mean the rotor rotates along with the rotating magnetic field. The rotate rotates along with the speed of the stator flux. Why? Why it has to rotate along with the speed of the stator flux? That is uh, to satisfy uh, Lenz law or uh, that is to abide with the le Lenz law. Any magnetic coil or any, any, any uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, concept definitely uh, uh, will have uh, to satisfy Lenz law. What is it actually? Lenz law is very clear. Lenz law is uh, effect, whatever the effect that you have, oppose, opposing the cause. Okay. What is the effect? Effect is the one which is a final product, right? And the cause is the reason for having this final product to be produced. Fine. So, in this discussion, in this motor concept, what is the effect? The motor rotating is effect. Very simple. The motor rotation is affected. So I would consider that as uh, torque production or I, I'll consider this as movement, movement. I mean the rotor movement. Okay. The rotor movement. So what is the reason for the torque for production? Very simple. The reason for the torque production is a force that is produced in the, uh, on the conductors of the rotor. And what is the reason for the force to be produced in the, on the rotor conductors? Uh, the reason is the current that is induced in the rotor, right? I2, right? So the reason for the uh, force production is I2. And what is the reason for, I'm going a little, you know, uh, 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 step by step, you know, in sequence from effect to the cause, okay? This is the effect. And what is the reason for this effect? Force. And what is the reason for this one? I2. And what is the reason for I2 to produce in the rotor? Because there is a EMF induced. Very nice. So EMF induced E2 is a reason for I2. And what is the reason for E2? Very simple. Because the rot rotating magnetic field is cutting the rotor conductors. Rotating magnetic field is cutting the rotor conductors. Uh, rotor conductors are inducing EMF. Very simple. Right. So what I can say here. EMF induced, the reason behind EMF induced is flux cut. Flux cut. Very nice. So what is the reason for this flux cut? What is the reason for this flux cut? Can you tell? So the reason for this flux cut is uh, uh, a relative, relative speed difference. Relative. The reason for the flux cut is relative speed difference very nice okay so what is the effect the moment is the effect and what is the final cause for i mean the first cause for for this uh, effect the first cause uh, flux cut and the flux cut is due to relative speed difference so what must be happening here so what must be happening here in this induction motor? Induction motor in its working, it has to satisfy Lenz law. In the process of it, because it has to, I mean, uh, 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 it has to uh, undergo or abide to this law, what that does is uh, the moment will happen to oppose the relative speed difference. Or the moment will happen to oppose the, uh, uh, to, to reduce, to reduce the speed difference, to reduce the speed, or to affect the speed difference, okay. So very simple now. So let's say, suppose if the rotor is rotating in the opposite direction to NS, then can it make the relative speed difference zero? No, it cannot. 
it cannot so so as to satisfy lens law the movement should happen in the same direction as ns the movement should happen in the same direction as ns uh, and then only it can reduce the speed difference between ns and nr so what must be happening there the rotor has to always behind the stator speed and tries to catch the stator speed and if it catches then then the lens law will be completely achieved if it catches if nr is going along with ns and the, let's say my right right hand is nr and this is ns if nr is always going behind ns and if it tries to catch ns then there there the lens lie is completely satisfied which means the, the effect the effect the movement is opposing the flux cut how because as 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 it is going closer and closer nr is becoming ns and when nr becomes ns there the relative speed difference is zero when there is no speed difference when there is no difference in the speeds of ns and nr which means rotor rotor and the stator flux are going at the same speed are going at the same speed which means there is no uh, there is no possibility of having flux cut between the rotor and the stator or the stator flux will never cut the rotor conductor because both are at the same speed this happens when when the rotor tries to rotate in the same direction as stator that's the reason why the rotor rotates in the same direction as the stator. I hope you are understanding me. So, uh, relative speed difference is the reason for the flux curve and flux curve is the reason for E2. E2 is the reason for I2. I2 is the reason for force. Force is the reason for torque. And now the torque is the reason for movement and movement now opposes the relative speed difference. In order to do that, rotor tries to run in the same direction as stator and it tries to catch okay it tries to catch this is how because of the lens law we can say because of the lens law we can say that uh, uh, rotor uh, uh, speed will i mean nr is always in the direction of ns hope you are uh, getting me now the second point this is the first point which i wanted to press in this in this uh, video and, and second point is uh, what happens if see the rotor is now running along with the stator speed you know along with the in the same direction as a stator stator means stator flux right and if the rotor speed or if the rotor catches the speed of stator flux then what happens then what happens relative speed difference will be zero because ns is equals to nr so there is no speed difference and there is no flux cut there is no emf there is no i2 in the rotor there is no force produced on the rotor conductors and there is no torque produced on the rotor conductors and by which there is no movement which means the rotor stops right hope you are getting me so this is how you can understand what happens if the rotor speed is equal to the uh, synchronous speed or what happens if the rotor catches the speed of the uh, rotating magnetic field or stator flux speed so what happens the motor simply will not have rotor will not have emf induction because of the uh, relative speed is zero emf is zero the current is uh, zero and then the force is zero thereby the torque is zero moment is zero i mean movement will not take place so the second point what i want to discuss here is what happens if the rotor speed is equals to synchronous speed what happens is the motor structs i mean it doesn't run it doesn't function it doesn't move, move ahead it's